come a long way. Uh -huh. and, uh, you don't necessarily have to be in Nairobi to make it uh, in the in Kenya anymore. Our wow. hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel you're living there and you don't necessarily have to come to Nairobi uh -huh. to make it in life. You can be in Wajir and make have a good life there. Right. Courtesy to devolution. Right. Yeah, courtesy of devolution. So we've come a long way as a country. Mm -hmm. uh, we are grateful for sometimes good and bad leadership still shape the country. Right. 
but uh, I can't really, even with our issues, I can't really give bad credit to the country. We've come a long, long, a long, long, long way. If you come here, I, I've never been outside of the country, but uh, I'm actually grateful to this paradise that we have here. Yes. Quite something, and I, I think I like it more here. Yeah, and yeah. you're right because each time we're away from home, we're like, oh my gosh, we miss home for this and this and there's so many things. And now that the country is actually growing and developing, look at the infrastructure. The, you know, all the expressways I saw and I'm seeing, I'm like, wow, this was not Kenya seven years ago. And seven years ago is not so long ago, but it's still in those seven years, a lot has really changed. So it's amazing. Right, right now we've, we've actually blended almost a couple of counties together. I think Machakos, Nairobi, okay. Kiambu. Mm -hmm. Like with our Ubers, we go almost every day. You inter, you you, you, you go to inter counties. Like you can be in Nairobi one minute, the next you're in Kiambu. Right. You know, all we can all give credit to the infrastructure as well. Right. And I feel like it has really facilitated business because before with the bad roads and of course with the traffic it was difficult to like travel from let's say Nairobi to Thika without a lot of hassle. Right now you can go from Nairobi to Thika with an Uber. With an Uber and it's so easy. Yeah. You know you just download the app, we just did that and you were in like two minutes he was <laughs> in two minutes he was just there. So it's uh, unbelievable. And then we were also talking about housing. How has housing changed? Um, you guys, if you, if only I will show you guys the type of housing that we now found in, find in Kenya. People love what types of houses now here. We have all sorts of housing in this country. Mm -hmm. Even it's also a project that all uh, most uh, of our governments that uh, have been representing us over the years. Huh? Yes. Even the current. Current president also has in, in his in his top agendas. One of his top agendas in the big four is uh, housing. Yeah? Right. But uh, there's a lot of like like I've said, devolution has blossomed. So many counties. You can go to Kiambu, you can go to Kikuyu, and still find modern housing. Right. So gone are the days where people used to you know like live in just. Normal, 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 normal housing. Normal Nowadays, housing. you can you can be Nairobi. You can go from Nairobi to Athi River and still find more than day houses. Right. Yes. Yeah. And talking about Athi River, that's where my brother lives, and I was quite impressed by the type of house they're living and also the landscaping that goes around it. And then you also find like people have like these furnished houses. You just don't go like move into a flat. First of all, it's modern. It's high class materials and you know and then it's furnished guys it's really like furnished and modern finish modern finishing it's unbelievable the, the the deco i mean people don't just take a flat just to take it it's yeah there's a lot of oh wow it's just uh, unbelievable yeah but mostly credit to, to to the leadership we've had since mm -hmm. kibaki's time uru's time yes and then now here we have a new government with Ruto's time. Right. And uh, we are still moving forward, as I had said. Yes. We are not doing retrogressive development in this country anymore. Right. Yeah, it's always progressive. Wow. Yeah. And I feel that, you know, the reason why I also decided to document my travel is I want, because people out there think that Africa we're poor. People think that in Africa we're suffering, that we're dying. On the contrary. The, and it's... The ex it's contrary. The, it's the exactly, exactly, exactly. So that's why I think that people should travel um, so that you can see these things for yourself. It helps clear your ignorance. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, anything else you'd like to add on top of that uh, concerning Kenya's development and where we're heading now? What are the, are the next projects that are actually? have been acted and they're taking place right now. Uh, right now, um, we're actually grateful for the expressway that uh, was built by the previous government. Uh -huh. That takes you from Westlands to the JKI in less than 15 minutes. Okay, wow. One of the things that has, that has really helped transport in this country. Right, decongested the routes maybe? You know, okay. it's, it's, it's really helped movement around this country a lot. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things that has really, really helped us, 
like sometimes you would probably pick up a client at Westlands before you get to the airport. You, sometimes they would probably even miss their flight. Right. But right now, with the help of all these bypasses and then the expressway. Yes. It's a whole different ballgame. Yes. Yeah, so we are, we are grateful to that, for, you know, from our, from our government. Yes. Yeah. They've really done an amazing job. Um, and yeah, we're very grateful. And for someone who's not been in the country for that long, I can see the difference and really feels good to be home and proud of my country and and also the young generation. I feel the young generation is really, how can I say, they are moving forward and also changing the face of Kenya as a whole. You know, I was I watched a vlog not so long ago and they were asking other African countries, the number one country they would love to live in Africa and 80% would say Kenya. <coughs> And mostly before people used to say South Africa. <laughs> also because Kenya is also foreigner friendly. Yes. The people are nice. Oh my people goodness. Are friendly. Yes. We 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 do not dis we do not you know we do not uh, discriminate on anyone. Exactly. Anybody who comes to the country is welcome. Welcome. Yeah. And it's a nice place to be. So yes. If you, even if you look at the population of the country, we also have a lot of foreigners living in this country. Right. But still accommodated. It doesn't matter who you are, which from which religion, right? You know, from which country, you're yes. welcome to you know mm -hmm. to be with us in this country. It's an amazing place. Yes, it is an amazing place with amazing people, amazing food, <laughs> amazing culture, <laughs> amazing cultures. You know things that most people take for granted. Actually, sure. that's what you realize when you're out of the country like oh my gosh I, I miss Ugali and Sukuma Wiki and Doma and Washes and and so on. So it's really um yeah it's really nice to, to be home and so thank you so much for sharing uh you know you're most welcome yes yeah, so thank you so much and guys I will leave his number down below and so feel free to contact him whenever you're in Nairobi of course I know he will be happy to take you around. <laughs> Cheers guys until next time please make sure you subscribe make sure you like share and you know tell your brother tell your sister to whatever yeah so see you guys until next time bye, bye, -bye.